King Josiah, the young reformer of Judah. Today, we're going on a time travel adventure to meet one of the youngest kings ever to rule in Judah, King Josiah. Imagine becoming a king when you're only eight years old. Josiah was not just any king. He inherited a kingdom filled with problems. His father and grandfather had led the people away from God, worshipping false gods and doing many evil things. But young Josiah was different. When he became king, he decided it was time for change. As Josiah grew older, he began to lead Judah back to God. He started by cleaning up God's temple, which had been misused by the previous kings. Josiah ordered the removal of all the items that were being used to worship the false gods. When Josiah was just 26, during the temple's renovation, the workers found something extraordinary hidden in the walls. The Scroll of the Law, possibly the Book of Deuteronomy. Imagine finding a long lost treasure that tells you how to lead your people rightly. Uncertain what to do next, Josiah consulted a prophetess. She had sad news to give him. Judah would face the consequences for its past sins. But because of Josiah's good heart and reforms, he would not see this destruction during his lifetime. Inspired to act, Josiah gathered everyone in Judah, from the greatest to even the smallest and poorest of the people, and he then read the scroll out loud. He led a grand ceremony where everybody recommitted to following God's laws, making a new beginning for Judah. Josiah didn't stop there. He revived the celebration of the Passover festival that hadn't been observed in many years. It was a time of great joy and unity as the people remembered their deliverance from Egypt. King Josiah's effort to bring his people back to God made him one of the most beloved kings in Judah's history. He even appearing in the genealogy of Jesus, showing how important his legacy was. Josiah's story teaches us that no matter how young you are, you can make a big difference. With courage and faith, you can change the world around you, just like Josiah did. What can you do today to make your world a better place? Thanks for joining our adventure in the time of King Josiah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our exciting journeys through the Bible. Share your thoughts in the comments below about what you learned today, and see you next time. Bye-bye.